Hey guys, welcome to a video about how to interface the Godot engine with an Arduino board. So basically, what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to press a button on the Arduino board and have it send a message to the Godot and game engine. And then we'll be able to have the Godot game engine send a message back to an Arduino board to do some calculations or to like maybe like run an LED or something. So we're going to need two pieces of software for this project. We're going to need GodotEngine.net. You're going to need that C-sharp support. Without C-sharp support, this project isn't really going to work as we're going to need some custom C-sharp functionality that I don't think GDScript has yet. And you're going to need the Arduino IDE. So you're going to need to download and install these two pieces of software and we are ready to go. All right, once you have those things downloaded and installed, we can go ahead and open our Arduino IDE. And then we can create a new sketch. So first things first, we're going to check a couple of things. We're going to check that our Arduino board is hooked up to the IDE and you can see here Arduino Uno, so it is. And then we're going to check that it's connected to our COM port. Keep an eye on this COM port because we're going to need it later into the video when we're into the Godot programming. So we're going to set up a couple of global variables here. So const int button pin equals four. So this is just the pin that my button's connected to and we're going to be using this to connect to it. And then a const int LED pin equals 10. And then we're going to need another variable int button state equals zero. So this is so button state is going to track whether our button is pressed or not. So we're going to do serial dot begin 9600. And so this line here is very important is without this line, we're not going to be able to send serial data to and from the COM3 port. So make sure you have serial.begin. Now we're going to set up our pins. So pin mode, LED pin output. This is going to let us turn our LED on or off. And then pin mode, button pin, input. Because we need to be able to have the Arduino know if the button is pushed or not. All right, so that's it in start. Here we're going to do a couple checks. We're going to get the state of the button. So we're going to digital read the pin, button pin. And then we're just going to check if button state equals equals high serial dot print line. Hello, good up. So this is just going to be outputted to our serial console. Let's just test this right now. So I'm going to upload the sketch. And then I'm going to check the serial monitor and then I'm going to press the button arm Arduino. So you can see that when we press the button, it is outputting all this data. Perfect. All right. So we have our script to send the data to our Godot engine, but we don't have the Godot engine set up to take that data. So let's just do that right now. So let's open up Godot and create a new project. I'm just going to call it Mr. Arduino and create a new folder. You don't want to just dumping all its files and documents. And here I'm just going to set up a basic 2D scene. So I'm going to click 2D scene. And I'm going to add a child node for rich text label. And I'm going to have the Arduino essentially just tell the Godot game engine to change the text label. So I'm going to just drag this to screen size. And I'm going to change the font size. So that being theme overrides, font sizes, normal font. Let's just do 60 pixels for now. Perfect. So now we have to go to project tools, C sharp and create a C sharp solution. So this next part is very important is we're going to have to open our file manager and we're going to have to install another piece of software, the system IO ports from Microsoft. So if you type in CMD here, we're going to install a NuGet package. So you can just type .NET, add package, system.io.ports, dash dash version, 7.0.0 at the time of recording this video. It might be newer now. There will be a link in the description to a page if this command doesn't work. So let's let that install. Perfect. And now we can close these folders and let's create a new C sharp script. So let's go to node 2D and attach script. I'm just going to call this Arduino and make sure this is C sharp. Create. Perfect. So now we're going to have to include system.io.ports. This is what we installed with NuGet earlier. 
Let's define a couple of global variables. So serial port, serial port, serial port. Let's get a rich text label. Just call this text. And that's all we're going to need for now. So in ready, this will run on execution of your script. We're going to get reference to our rich text label. So get node rich text label. And I didn't rename it, so we just type in rich text label here as well. And then we're going to have to create a new serial port. So serial port equals new serial port. Now we're going to have to have a couple of parameters for our serial port. So serial port dot port name equals com3. So if you remember, this was in our Arduino ID. So you see here it's port com3. This is where we have to use that. And serial port dot baud rate equals 9600. So also in our other project, you'll see that we had serial that begin 9600. So you have to keep this number the same. And then finally, we'll just do serial port dot open. So this essentially is just opening access to com three. All right. So in our process, process runs on every frame. We'll just check to see if our serial port is in fact open. So if not serial port dot is open, return, oops, return. So this just checks if our serial port is open and if not, don't go any further. So finally, let's read information from the serial port. So let's just do string serial message equals serial port dot read existing. So this is going to get the string that we printed out here. So now we need to check if it's the message we want. So if serial message equals equals Hey, Goodell, which is again what we printed out here. And then we're just going to update our text label. So text dot text equals hello, Arduino. I hear you. And then a little smiley face. So let's run our Arduino project. Select our current node as the main scene. And let's do a quick little test. Okay, so I'm back. I was noticing some issues and I had Hey Godot instead of Hello Godot. So I updated them to remove the space in both. But so now if we upload our sketch and then compile our Godot game, and then if I press the button, we print out Hello Arduino, I hear you. So now what if we want Godot to be able to send information to our Arduino? So we're going to have to make a couple changes to the script and we're going to add two more global variables. Bool has heard from Arduino equals false and float timer. So essentially this is going to say if we have communicated with Arduino yet and how long since we've communicated with Arduino. So I'm going to go down to where we get our serial message. And I'm just going to add the lines has heard from Arduino equals true. And timer equals time dot get tick m, m sec or milliseconds. Now we're going to have to make another if statement. So if has heard from Arduino is true and time dot get ticks milliseconds minus timer is greater than 3000 or three seconds text dot text plus equals new line turning on the light for you little smiley face and then we're going to have to write this to the serial port so serial port dot write and i'm just going to give it a one for simplicity. And then we're going to reset this. So has heard from Arduino equals true or equals false. So now that that's done, we're going to have to update our Arduino sketch. So we're going to have to add another if statement. If serial.read equals equals in single quotations one, then what do we want to do? Well, we want to make our LED turn on. So digital write 
LED pin high. So now let's test this and see if it works. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you got any useful information out of this, a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any ideas for the next videos I should make. All right, guys, have a good one.